I just came in. I found the love of my life cheated on me. I can't believe you did this. I've been nothing but good to you. I'm trying to respect you by not even showing your face to the people. I don't the words to say right this now. This is how you repay me. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. No, I can't I'm take you sorry. back. Please forgive me. Get away, I'll please. I'll never cheat again. Leave my house. You know the unfunctional, dysfunctional family. I can't even look at you, man. Despicable. You couldn't even wait till we got married. <laughs> you thought I wasn't gonna catch you. I should show your face to the people. everything right she couldn't even wait till we got married before finding somebody else to cheat on me with man he was so close to getting married so close we set the wedding date and everything and then she just won't go ahead and cheat on me like it's nothing man please leave my door leave my door stop knocking I fought for us. No, you know, I told you to get out relationship of my house. I is not about you. giving up. You can't give up on me now. Not get now. I need you. House. I ask I don't you for see forgiveness. You. I plead to you. Come on now. I'm even on my knees begging say, you. Out of my house. Just give me another chance. Please just give us stop another chance. Just think door. about us. Just all these get years we put into house. this. <laughs> You're going to break the door. Stop it. You're going to break the door. Stop it. I said, I don't want to see you. What part of that don't you understand? Leave my house. If you don't leave, I'm going to call the cops. I don't want to see your face right now. I could really expose you right now. Thousands of people on YouTube right now, you keep knocking on my door. Please. I'm trying to be mature about everything and I'm begging you, please just leave in peace. Because if I expose you to the whole world, they're going to see you for who you really are. I never played you before, never cheated on you, never looked at nobody else. And you want to go ahead and cheat on me like it's nothing. No, I'm telling you right now, leave. No, I can't accept this. Are you crazy? Like, what's going on? This, no. You're telling me we're breaking up right now? I'm not going to do are you this person, serious, man. for real? Uh, I, I just don't understand you. No, 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 I can't accept this. No, I fought for this. <sighs> I've never been so angry before. We have cheated on God time after time after time. We have broken his heart. He has been nothing but good to us. He has been true to us. He has been loyal to us. But we have shown him disloyalty. We have shown him our unfaithfulness. We have turned around and we have cheated on God. We have cheated on God with perversion. We have cheated on God with iniquity. We have cheated on God with idolatry. We have cheated on God with even the people that we date, the people we are married to, because we have placed everything else above him. Why are we breaking the heart of God? Things we are doing time and time after time, misusing grace. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 verses 26, if you go on willfully sinning after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for our sins. What if God was like us, unforgiven, walking away from us? 
How many times? Think about it. How many times have we cheated on God? Time after time after time. Repeat offenders. Always running back to God asking him for forgiveness. How many times have we done that very thing? What if God lost patience? What if God said enough is enough? I am through with you. And unfortunately, that will be the reality for many people that miss heaven. That will be the reality for many people that go on willfully sinning. That will be the reality for many that have rejected Jesus Christ. That will be their reality. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness and iniquity. You are not qualified to marry me. The wedding is so close. The wedding is so close. You don't want to be like the foolish virgins that did not carry the oil, but you want to be like the five wise virgins. The wedding is coming. Will you marry Jesus Christ or will you be cast away into the lake of fire? That is the reality. What are you doing in your life that is proving your unfaithfulness to God? What is that thorn in your flesh that you have entertained and even accommodated this long that will be the greatest hindrance to your salvation? What is that thing that you need God to destroy? Because we are constantly breaking the heart of God. We are constantly grieving him. The Bible says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Mm. How many times have we grieved the Lord? David prayed, take not thy Holy Spirit from me, but restore unto me the joy of my salvation. David is asking God to reinstate his position in God because you can lose your position in God. Ah, y'all ain't hearing me. You can literally lose your position in God. And where do you go when Jesus has said, depart from me? This is a wake up call. You could literally lose everything over something. That thing in your life that you have not dealt with, brought to the altar. If you have not dealt with that thing, it is going to eventually deal with you. This is a wake up call. Will you be ready when the trumpet sound? Family, we have to stop cheating on God. We have to. That pornography is not worth it. That perversion is not worth it. That cursing is not worth it. That stealing, that lying, that homosexuality is not worth it. Anything that is contrary to the will of God is not worth it. Stop cheating on God, please. We've broken his heart over and over. We've heard him enough. Enough is enough. Don't be like the woman that is crying out. Yet the door is locked. She cannot come in. That will be the reality for many people. Nobody's breaking into heaven. She will stand there knocking never able to come in because of what she chose to continue doing. Are you ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? This is Apostle Wise Preach. Please share this message. Let's get about 2 million people to watch this video. God will bless you, please. Wise preach. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God.